In this nugget, let's take a look at the expansion of glass functionality thanks to applications developed by Google and others for glass. Now, perhaps one of the most exciting things about glass is the fact that the sky's pretty much the limit, isn't it? Yeah, there's going to be a tremendous number of applications that are designed for the glass, and they're going to show up in updates to our glass app on your phone. So it, it really never fails. Pretty much every couple of weeks, I'm discovering that more and more apps are showing up under the glassware category. And sure enough, what I find is some of them are absolutely really cool, like the CNN app where I can watch videos that are the latest news and headlines. Other, others of them are not so compelling. Maybe it's an app that's just going to read me a headline, just a couple sentences as an update where obviously watching video in the glass is much more compelling with CNN. So what you're going to be doing with your glass is obviously experimenting with all of the different apps that are out there, right? You're going to be constantly updating your glassware, and you're constantly going to be looking for that new great app for your glass. Obviously, with the earbuds, Google Play certainly has some potential. And notice, enabling one of these apps is going to be a very, very simple tap of the glass. So now I've got Google Play set up on my glass, thanks to my manipulation here in the glass software on my phone. So let's just check it out real quick and see what results in my actual glass as a result. Now, again, there was many apps I could have chosen to demonstrate in this particular video. Again, every couple weeks, there's this wealth of new applications showing up for the glass. I chose a Google edition because those are going to be some of the most impressive, we would bet, right? In fact, the Google Music app that we just installed onto my glass actually enhances, expands the auditory cues that the glass can receive. Specifically, this one enhances it to listen to. Let's give it a shot. So I wake the glass up and I say, okay, glass, listen to Muse. And it says, uh-oh, can't use the software really without a Play Music account. So notice, uh, you know, it's really funny. One of the reasons I think Google will really strive to keep the consumer price of glass as low as possible, maybe even just break even on glass, is that it will drive consumers to their various services, right? Gmail, Google Contacts, Google Calendaring, Google Music Services. All right, well, let me pause the video right now. I'll run off and establish a music.google.com account, and we'll come back and try this app again. Great, so I went over to music.google.com and signed up with a free account. Now, one of the things that that free account allows is the uploading of 20,000 of your songs into Google Music. Well, this is pretty awesome, and this works out great for the glass. In fact, what I did was I uploaded just one song for our test here, and it's me on the guitar playing a cover of R.E.M.'s Country Feedback. So let's see if we can cue that up in glass. Okay, glass, listen to Anthony Sequeira. And here it is. It's got my music. Now, if I tap the glass, I can do an instant mix of my music or I can scroll through the songs. Here's my country feedback. I will tap the glass. This brings up the option to play. I will tap the glass again in order to play my cover. By the way, if you're interested in actually hearing this, you could find it, I'm sure, easy enough uh, by doing a Google search of your own. I warn you, I'm an amateur, capital A. 
So anyways, here I am listening to the song. Now, something pretty interesting here is we're wasting battery. Notice I don't even have any cover artwork associated with my song. So I will swipe down on the glass in order to blank out the video now. And we still have the audio track playing. When I get sick of listening to myself, which I already have, I'm going to go ahead and tap the glass to wake it up again. And then notice I can swipe to get back to my glass interface, or I can tap the glass to pause this song, to play the next track in the CD, to play a previous track in the CD, or to go to an instant mix of this artist, or finally to go ahead and stop this song. And mercifully, I will go ahead and do that now. So notice how with applications, we are going to be able to dramatically expand the functionality of glass, by far the most exciting feature of glass. Well, I sure hope this video has been informative for you, and I'd like to thank you for viewing.